What's up everyone, Stoneman here. Welcome to another episode. So today I just received a question from a newbie NFT artist asking, what tips might you have for someone starting out in NFTs? So today we're gonna to start off with a segment I like to call, how to become a successful NFT artist. So stick with us as we count down my top six tips on how to become a successful NFT artist. Let's get into it. All right, so let's start off with tip number one. Find the right marketplace for you. There are a variety of marketplaces available to buy and sell NFTs. OpenSea offers the broadest selection of crypto collectibles. You can mint anything from NFT artworks to game items, trading cards, and other digital collectible goods. Anyone can gain access to the platform to buy, sell, and trade NFTs, making it a popular choice for those looking to reach the widest audience. If your focus is on making sales, it can be helpful to look at the average sale price and quantity on each of the different platforms. All right, so tip number two, use a test net. Some NFT marketplaces like Rarible and OpenSea allow artists to experiment with test nets before minting their artworks. Test nets are identical to the software behind cryptocurrencies and are commonly used for conducting experiments without disturbing the main chain. For NFT artists, test nets are helpful for gaining a better understanding of the process and avoiding making any mistakes along the way. Tip number three. Mint your NFTs when gas fees are low. Gas prices pay for the computational mining power required to process transactions on the Ethereum blockchain. These fees fluctuate in accordance with real-time network traffic. In other words, gas prices are much higher when the network is crowded. To avoid costly fees, try minting when less people are active in the ETH market. I tend to mint only when the days are calm and still. I set my MetaMask to a maximum GWEI value that I believe can be reached in a few hours. The one tool I recommend using is Etherscan. It's a useful tool for artists to track real-time gas price data by time of day and local time zones. Tip number four, understanding how to market yourself on social media. You can't just rely on marketplaces to do all the work for you. Understanding how to market yourself properly on social media is key for engaging potential collectors, building a reputation, and improving the discoverability of your art. It's not just about minting. Minting is half the battle. You'll be able to sell more as a result of marketing more. Tip number five, connect with other artists. Social media is also a great way to build a network of like-minded creators around you. The NFT market wouldn't be what it is today without the backing of the community it rides on. The market is driven by other artists, so it helps to amplify each other's messages. I accredit my 38,000 Twitter following to the fact that I regularly share content from other creators on my feed. This had a knock-on effect with artists reciprocating the gesture, helping other artists and collectors discover their work. Many NFT artists also collect NFT artworks from other artists within the community. So who knows, maybe this could even lead to a few sales. And last but not least, tip number six, look more professional with a certificate of authenticity. Impress collectors with museum quality certificates of authenticity, securely registered and recorded on the blockchain. A Verus Art Certificate would elevate your artwork to a different level, and collectors feel this too. They pay attention to these small details. Well, there you have it. That concludes my six tips on how to become a successful NFT artist. If you like this video so far, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Now let's continue on with the show. Well, I hope that segment helped. Comment down below with anything NFT related you'd like me to explain on my next video. All right, so now for the main event, let's get out there and see what kind of amazing NFTs we can find today. Now remember, this is not financial advice. These are just some amazing NFTs we're showcasing from around the world. Now let's get started. So before we get started, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to contact the artist or view more pieces from the artist, their information is in the description below. Now let's get started. Anydings. Anydings is a digital collection of unique high-resolution collectibles. Your new friends are cute, 
Bitsy, moody, material textured dings with more than 150 traits. The traits are textures you can find everywhere in your life, on the streets or in the nature, in summer or winter. They're no apes or pixeled PFPs. They are dings of materials you can find everywhere in your daily life and maybe identify with them. The distribution of the variants is weighted differently, so there are very rare variants among the 3,333 AnyDings NFTs. Thus, each AnyDings is not only unique, but also differently rare. Great project. Keep up the great work. Awesome Inmates Crypto Cards an outstanding revolutionary NFT project based off the idea of a poker game in a casino. There will be 10,000 NFTs, each one different from all the others. Very cool concept. Can't wait to see what you come up with next. Cardano Divers NFT He is a diver who loves taking underwater photos. He decided to edit his photos with AI software, and here is the result. Amazing collection. Keep up the amazing job. Corona Crypto Cat. A cat person with different greeting styles inspired by the Corona pandemic. The collection consists of 10,000 randomly generated pixelated art. Love how simple this collection is. Keep up the amazing work. Crypto Gerbils. They are a tattoo artist family who just dug into the NFT world. Gerbils idea came from their daughters making them draw them a gerbil each and cutouts of pieces of clothing and accessories. They decided to spread the joy with the world and they dropped it on Polygon OpenSea. Each gerbil you buy is a lottery ticket. You can win amazing prizes with them. They have 160 out of 1000 ready to sell. More coming daily. Love this project. Keep up the amazing job. CryptoKpunk.nft the artist's name is Jody Chung, aka Crypto K Punk. She's a pensioner from the fashion and garment industry. She found out about NFTs a few months ago. It's inspired her to do something new. So she learned Photoshop and smart contracts from YouTube. Crypto K Punk is her first collection of 1,000 pixelated items. Then Crypto K Punk Street Beggars is her second project, consisting of 11 pictures at the moment. And her latest collection is Crypto K Punk Beggar Apes, consists of 999 items that she has minted 535 items of. All available on OpenSea. Great pieces. Keep up the great work. DuckFi. DuckFi is a collection of cool and creative ducks running from the hunters. The ducks will evolve from season to season. I love this collection. Keep up the great work. EME Doble NFT. He's a digital artist and photographer. In his latest collection, dark art predominates. To generate his work, he used an AI based added to a lot of hours of processing and retouching in Photoshop. He likes to write algorithms without following a set of rules. But to learn a specific aesthetic through the analysis of thousands of images, from there the algorithm generates new ones based on what has been learned. He would like to present his personal vision of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Great pieces. Keep up the great job. Everything. The artist's name is Isan. He's the owner of Everything. He has created many NFTs, and he will make many more interesting NFTs. You can check out his work on OpenSea. Great collection. Keep up the great work. Catalina Aurora. After five years of ayahuasca nights on the lonesome mountains of Colombia, the main focuses of Catalina Aurora are inner work and mind expansion. Her intention with her artwork is to show humanity the possibilities of consciousness. She attended her first ayahuasca ceremony in 2016 when she was 22 years old. She was about to start her thesis research to graduate as a master of visual arts and ended up doing deep research about spirituality and ancestral practices. She found herself specifically interested in plant medicines. Entheogens and deep meditative states have inspired her work, which utilize drawings, multidimensional animation, and nature footage. 
She takes the curious witness through a journey of sacred geometry where darkness and light meet within the soul. Love this collection. Keep up the amazing job. Lucky Bear. Lucky Bear is a collection of 2,000 one-of-one items listed on Crypto.com NFT. Love this collection. Keep up the amazing job. Maziar969. The artist's name is Maziar. He is an artist and creator of unique one-of-one -one NFTs. He often creates paintings taken from old works with a new look. Great collection. Keep up the great job. Mike Baum. He is a single father of a six-year-old little girl. Lives in New Jersey, USA. He's new to the whole NFT thing. He's really trying to get his art out there. He tries to make a statement about the places and people he creates about, how they make him feel. He does custom paintings on motorcycle and cars. He is self-employed. He moved to Seattle when he was 16 years old and finished high school out there. He has been all over and done a lot. Love this collection. Keep up the amazing job. Nature NFTs. The artist's name is Emmanuel. He's a graduate and he works as an accountant. He is a graphic designer as well. Nature NFTs AI includes collections of artwork drawn from an AI software that produces fine abstract art. The purpose of this collection is to show the uniqueness and beauty of nature. This collection features images sorted by categories, wildlife, plant, landscape, and close-up natural scenes and textures. Love this collection. Can't wait to see what you come up with next. Rando Cats. Rando Cat's collection are kittens mutated into other creatures and experiments minted in both networks ETH and ETH Polygon. Very cool collection. Keep up the great job. Shiny Adamantis Official. Welcome to the Forever Brilliant Diamond Club. The more cryptocurrency friendly a country is, the more expensive its diamonds. All he wants to do is open a diamond market in the metaverse and build whatever he wants. That's the only reason he decided to come here. Has nothing to do with the dark streets and canal covered buildings or something he doesn't like. He wants to be the biggest diamond trader in the metaverse. Stephen Hawking said, everyone can achieve something if they try hard enough. Great concept. Keep up the great work. The Bad Big Wolf. The Bad Big Wolf is a collection of one of one handmade NFTs based on the famous Fables character. The people call him bad because he eats other animals, but that's just his nature. Did you ever feel judged for the way you are? Be like the wolf. Free your nature. Great collection. Keep up the great work. Tobias Rhine Amundsen. He is a painter who focuses on portraying the duality of the human condition. Everything is connected, both the light and the darkness, sorrow and joy. Within this balance, truth, worthy, and beauty can be found. Great collection. Keep up the great job. Wizard World. She's a 27-year-old woman from India. She's a digital artist and a photographer. Most of her art are spirals, as she's very fond of spiral shapes since she was little. Here she's presenting you with her collection of wizardly nature where she has expressed art of nature and its being in the wizardly way. Feel the wizardly nature of the art. This collection comprises of digital art, mainly abstract art, conceptual art, and so on. Very cool collection. Keep up the great job. Ila Peel. The artist's name is Julia. She is an abstract artist. She draws under the pseudonym Ila Peel. She lives in a gray industrial city, so expressing herself with vibrant emotional creativity is like a breath of fresh air. It so happened that she gave up drawing for 20 years. For some time, she was traveling, looking for herself. She wanted to know herself more deeply, her capabilities to know her potential, to believe in magic, to play. In 2019, she had a creative awakening. She felt the need to express her emotions, energy, spiritual knowledge, the entire depth of her inner world through creativity. She felt the need to share all this with the world. She painted with a hairdryer and epoxy. Very cool collection. Keep up the amazing job. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching the whole way through. If you liked the video, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like 
to be featured on the next episode, just DM me on Twitter. The instructions are in the description below. A huge thank you to all the NFT artists for their submissions on today's episode. We'll see you next week. Until then, keep on creating. Thank you.